Kevin McAvoy here at Gibraltar Transmission on Cranberry Road doing another business spotlight. And I'm here with the proprietor, the main owner, the owner of Gibraltar Transmission, that's Steve Azarki. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. So why don't you begin by telling our audience a little bit about the history of the shop. Okay. The history of the shop. Well, it started way back in 1985 on Route 18 near Ferris Road and Ferris Avenue. And um, it was a small little location with just two guys and myself. And over the years, we built it up and built it up. And about nine years ago, I needed a little more room, so we moved off of Route 18 to this location, which afforded twice the space and has allowed me to expand beyond the transmission repairs that I was doing solely at the other location. And how about a little bit about yourself with regard to your background? Have you always been, since the teenage days, you know, wrenching cars, working on cars, tweaking cars, fixing cars, and then led to the profession that has allowed you to be here, if I'm correct, 32 years in East Brunswick? Well, no, it's, it's interesting how I actually started. Um, back in the uh, mid-'80s, uh, my dad was running the shop, uh, not successfully, with a manager in the shop, and I was in Philadelphia working with computers in the early stages of computers. And uh, because it wasn't working very well, uh, he decided to sell it, and I decided to take a look for six months and see whether or not it was a doable um, business. And week after week, it, I realized how difficult it was to run a shop. And uh, it was more than just fixing transmissions. It was customer service and reliability and integrity and things like that. And it just unfolded and built up and you know, we got a little busier and got a reputation going and eventually here we are now uh, with five employees and myself and a lot of cars. Let's talk about how the residents or how the customers can get in contact with you. Do, uh, do you have a website? Do you have a social media platform? Uh, let inform them about how they come in contact with you. Well, we're centrally located in East Brunswick on Cranberry Road, about a mile off of Route 18. Uh, obviously, you can certainly just Google us. We're no longer really in the phone books, as I don't think most businesses are anymore. And uh, social media is important for you to find out about us before you show up at the shop. Um, I don't really push the Facebook or things like that with Twitter. I'm just more interested in getting good reviews and people leaving my shop happy, feeling that they paid for a, a fair price for whatever services we rendered. And talking about uh, you know, feeding off of that, it seems as if when one customer comes in and, and has a very good experience, then they share the message with their friends and their neighbors and their relations. Because when I did come into the shop, you did point me over to the bulletin board, which has a glowing account of uh, customer service relations. Uh, so I guess that sort of transcends the social media piece. Everyone knows about Gibraltar. Uh, I would say yes. I mean, especially in this Middlesex County area, we do have people who travel 20 and 30 miles to our shop for our repair. And usually that's for something a little bigger like a transmission repair. Uh, I decided to expand or extend my warranties on transmissions to four years and 50,000. Uh, most of my competitors are only one year, and too many things go wrong after that first year. And that's why I extended warranties to allow my customers to know that we're doing the job 100% right to the best of our abilities with as many parts as I can put into the transmission to fix it right. So, Stephen, why don't you tell our audience about maybe the areas beyond transmissions that you do? Um, with, with a shop this size, I'm under the assumption that maybe you do more than just transmissions. Is that the case? Yes. It was something that kind of like unfolded over the last 10 years where, um, for the most part, we started doing little things besides transmissions for mostly our customers who came back and said, Stephen, can you do a set of brakes? Can you do a water pump? And so it was a learning curve. Although we were always able to do that stuff, we were fully emphasizing the transmission industry. So it's just something that has year after year built up. Customers keep returning. 
and it has allowed us to expand into doing tr uh, engine repair and head gaskets and cooling systems and air conditioning um, just to take care of our customers. So, I mean, again, with five guys plus me, we're busy, but we seem to be holding our own, just keeping up with the work as it comes in. So just for a second, uh, I want to take our audience outside the box, if you don't mind, Stephen. Uh, again, going back to the fact that we are in the uh, front office, so to speak, and I did notice that there is some volunteer or service work that you have done. Could you explain to our audience uh, what you showed me? Well, uh, this was after the Sandy hurricane, and uh, I live closer to the water, I'm three, four miles off, but I knew there was devastation. And I called the police and just asked whether or not I could help in any small way. Um, I drove down there, and it was really just devastation. Uh, houses were turned upside down. There was litter all over the place in the first half mile from the beach. And it was chaos. It was total chaos. So I began getting a little more involved on the weekends because I was still running my business here inland. And uh, every weekend I would go there, not every weekend, but you know, I went enough and uh, began to try to organize the chaos that was going on. So uh, out of the box, I just felt the need to try to organize with whatever skills I had. So we were able to, I was able to um, furnish two long trailers because there was a lot of donations coming in and they didn't know where to put them and they were in other buildings and they didn't, they couldn't centrally locate all the stuff. So I rented two trailers for about two years, I guess, and Gibraltar covered that. And we, I bought a computer so they could input all the um, residents who needed merchandise to make sure that residents weren't double dipping because there was some corruption that went on. But um, for the most part, it was a successful way of, of, of moving the residents back into their homes within a few, two, three years. I mean, it's still bad, but um, I did my little piece, and, uh, and it just unfolded yeah. again. I just felt it would need to, to help out a little, and I just, there was a lot of other people who did a lot of other work, um, you know, helping the residents. Thank you. So, so not only are, we, are you an a, a active business member of our community, but as I said, outside the box you went to go one step beyond to be a good citizen, to volunteer, and to help. Yes, I'm appreciate that. that. Yes. We appreciate that here in East Brunswick. Thank you, Mayor. Stephen, it's also come to my attention that uh, some of the public works vehicles have, uh, have come down here. Now, I know that we have uh, mechanics on duty, but when it comes to transmissions, that's big work. Uh, so what do you want to share with our audience or our residents about the work you've done for the township? Well, um, electronic repairs on transmissions because computers control how transmission will shift if there's shorts in wires or solenoids or switches are not working properly it will create a, a havoc and chaos on the transmission and the public work guys are extremely good at what they do but uh, unless you have a lot of knowledge about how the wires work between the computer and the transmission it, they could spend five times the amount of time finding things that we can find in a few hours. And I have done minor repairs for the township, and we will continue to do minor repairs if we can um, to fix the problem that exists in, in the truck or in the car. That's Thank good you. news. So keep that work up, too. Thanks. How about hours of operation? Could you tell our viewers exactly what days of the week or on the weekends when you are open and uh, what the times are that you're open? Right. Normal hours for an auto repair shop, uh, 8 o'clock till 5.30, and sometimes we're here later if it's an emergency, Monday through Friday, and Saturday it's a half a day with a half a crew just to give my employees time off to kind of, you know, get some leisure time. How about if you tell the audience the phone number here too? Okay, 732-254-6100, and just ask for Stephen. And that about wraps it up here. Mayor Kevin McAvoy, Business Spotlight. It's Stephen Azarki here at Gibraltar Transmission. If you have a transmission problem, come on down. 